I've got here a foam cannon that I bought off Amazon for maybe under 20 bucks so it's not very expensive and I um, thought I'd give it a try basically uh, it's something that you attach a foam cannon is an attachment for your your uh, high pressure washer and uh, that you can put detergent in here and I've got some detergent also about half Amazon this is about 14 bucks I'll put the links in the description below but um, <clears throat> It foams up, um, so when you spray with the pressure washer, uh, you, you you spray a heavy foam onto the uh, vehicle that you're washing, and then you allow it to sit for a while, and then it drips off. It's supposed to pull all of the surface dirt off. So instead of traditional washing, where you you rinse the bike down, get it nice and lubricated, so that you can hand wash. This is a pre-step as well. This is not. They don't even tout this to be the complete for a detailer. Detailers use this a lot uh, for a complete wash uh, uh, method. So what this is a pre-wash essentially. Um, you spray down the bike instead of just spraying with regular water. You spray it with this foam, and then once that's dripped off, you rinse it off. Once that's rinsed off, then you wash the bike with a mitt or whatever uh, to get the rest of the grime off because um, there is no amount of rinsing uh, uh, spray on and rinsing that's going to take road grime off as soon as you, you you spray a detergent on and then you rinse it off uh, once it dries the, the road grime will magically reappear again so you've got to you've got to use some kind of a method of abrasion to get that dirt off the first time I'm opening this thing up and I'll show you what comes in the box uh, oh, this is interesting some little tool <laughs> a little tool comes with it and uh, this here is the nozzle from what I understand this here will change uh, the uh, it's a, got a plus and a minus on it so it'll change the uh, the volume uh, of, the, of the foam I guess but you you put this on the bottle the bottle is about one liter I think Yes, it's one liter, so you use two ounces of the soap. And from what I've heard from these reviews, uh, you, put, you fill the rest of it with warm water to get the best uh, sudsing action. Um, this little hose, I would expect, goes on the bottom of this. And this goes into your, into your bottle, like that. So assemble this like this. It's got a, uh, I think this is a quarter inch um, a nozzle fitting for your uh, pressure, pressure washer. And what else? Comes with some instructions. <laughs> Instruction manual it said. Uh, inner core. So this here is the inner core. This, this is the what? plastic coat. Whatever that is. In, inner coral. This might be uh, Ch Chinese English. So I don't know what the translation is. Quick connector. Foam volume control knob. Uh, and if you take it apart, it's got a it's got a foam maker and an office nozzle. What this foam maker looks like is just a piece of sponge. Um, so so that's interesting. How to repair it? Oh, that little tool that I showed you before is used for repairing it. When they say repair, I think they meant maintenance. It's used for maintenance of this of this foam cannon. But the thing about this one is that it comes with these other attachments. And guess what? The instructions don't really show. Uh, what these attachments are for and where you put them. So uh, I'm wondering if this goes on the end of your of your high pressure. See, there's the attachments here. It looks like the same kind of quick connect. It is the same kind of quick connect as this. So this goes on your on your uh, high pressure washer nozzle to give you different spray patterns, I guess. So here I've got it. I've put two ounces uh, two ounces of uh, detergent in here, and I filled up the rest of the bottle up to the one liter mark. Uh, with warm water, so it's nice and warm here. They say not to shake this up um, Because you don't want to create a lot of foam in here. This is also an adjustment. I guess you can turn this Yes That's probably to uh, to widen it widens and narrows that that gap here So there's two two adjustments this one and this one since doing the first part of the video I've come to realize that that quick connect here on the back of the foam cannon will not work with my Karcher uh, electric power washer gun. So I had to go and get one of these adapters. And you can get this off of Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below. Uh, it has the quick connect end here. And then this part here uh, goes on to the Karcher. So uh, with that, it works beautifully. As a matter of fact, uh, those five nozzles 
uh, that came with the uh, the foam cannon work better than the uh, the two uh, ones that came with the Karcher spray uh, power sprayer. So I'll be using those to rinse off the bike. Um, I just finished uh, applying the S100 to it, and that didn't remove all of the the road grime at all, as expected. Um, so no surprises there. Again, uh, as you know, I'm a firm believer in using a sponge or a wash mitt to wash the vehicle to get the road grime off. And, uh, you know, even the foam cannon, I don't expect a heck of a lot. But at least we know what the starting point is for this vehicle. And uh, there's that there. And the residual dirt on the, on the front of the engine, that's there. The rest of the bike is fairly clean, even though I went for a ride yesterday in the wet roads just to get it dirty enough to do this video. Um, the exhaust is, after the S100s, a little bit cleaner, but still not that clean. Sorry I didn't get to show you uh, the bike as I was foaming it, because it's a two-handed job. But anyway, there it is, the foam is on. Oh, I for forgot the front, but it's on all around, and it's dripping off. So while it's doing that, I'm going to change the nozzle and put on this nozzle. And this nozzle shows, I don't know if you can read that, 40 degrees. So it's a 40 degree angle uh, on the spray. Well, the bike has been dripping now for 10 minutes or a little bit more than 10 minutes. So I think it's a good time to go and rinse it off. I'll show you what the sprayer looks like. There's the 40 degree head on and uh, the spray. I don't usually use a power washer to wash this bike, but with a cannon, you got it. You got to use the power washer. It's a very gentle spray. I mean, there's a lot of uh, spray wash going all over the place, but uh, it's pretty gentle. Get it underneath there. I really like these heads. The heads are a good reason for buying this uh, foam cannon kit in, in the first place. Heads work pretty good. All right, I think the bike is pretty much rinsed. I've got the S1000 to do as well. Um, so I'll be bringing that one out uh, in a second to foam up. Oops. <laughs> to foam up and then rinse off. Maybe I'll just wheel this, run this bike down to the end of my driveway and uh, bring the S1000 out. So here's the S1000 after riding it in the dirty road yesterday. Again, the roads are barely bloody dirty. Look at that. That's still clean. Pretty much clean. There's a little bit of drips there. But everything else looks fairly clean. <laughs> the only dirt I can see is here. And I can see some dirt up here. There. Look at that. Look on this side. There's some dirt there. The exhaust is not that dirty. It's got some dirt on it, but not that much. This part is not that dirty. There's some dirt there. So we're going to foam this bike and uh, not use the S100. Uh, pull this cozy off. Uh, not use the S100 because you know that's a flop. Uh, just foam this bike all over and see if the foam alone gets rid of that dirt that we can see down there. Again, Bike is totally foamed up. Using uh, warm water in the soapy solution, it foams a little bit better, I'm told. Um, and uh, not too bad for a cheap foam cannon. It does a pretty good job. So I'm gonna let this drip for about 15 minutes, just like with the RS, and see how it looks. Well, it's about 15 minutes since uh, I sprayed the, the foam on, and so it's been dripping for 15 minutes. I'm gonna rinse it off now. 
again I blow dry the bike so this 1000 has just been blow dried and I'm gonna let it sit there for a little while until uh, all the black parts that had the dirt on it that showed the dirt uh, are dry and then we can inspect it again I don't want to use my chamois to to dry it off because then that'll pull the any dirt that's remaining meanwhile on the RS I think that that front uh, the front of the engine looks a bit cleaner than with the S1000. So it took off whatever the S1000 left behind, some of it anyway. But again, you're not gonna have perfect, a perfect clean. Uh, if I wipe that with my thumb or my finger, you see, that's road grime. You don't get that off unless you use some kind of a sponge there. And uh, well, I didn't really soap that up. That's my uh, air horn compressor. But the rest of the bike uh, looks pretty good. I will confess the upper parts I've dried off already with my chamois, chamois up there. And, uh, but I didn't try the uh, swing arm. The swing arm here looks cleaner than before. So it took off some stuff that the S100 left behind. Very pleased. Actually, I'm more pleased with the uh, foam cannon than I am with the S100. To me, that's money better spent. I can't really comment on this because I dried this off with my chamois. <laughs> so, but it did have a few spots on it and it was uh, a little bit cleaner than the S100, what the S100 left behind. Well, the S1000 has been dried using the chamois and uh, with the exception of the dirtiest parts of the bike. They have not been dried using the chamois. They have been dried, just you're drying after after the uh, blow dry with the leaf blower. You can see that. Look at that. Almost perfectly clean. <laughs> and the swing arm has not been dried either. So none of this area here, the dirtiest part of this bike, which wasn't that dirty, but was dirty enough. Oh, I can see some dirt right there. Okay, I'm gonna wipe that off with the chamois, but still, those are much, much, much less than before. This is really, really good. Um, the wheels, look at the rims. Rims are dirty as hell. <laughs> um, I guess the foam, I, fo I foamed all there, but uh, wheels are really grimy. They're the grimiest parts of the bike. Um, so I'm gonna clean that with a separate uh, rag. I'm not gonna use my my chamois because it's gonna ruin it but look underneath there not too too bad I didn't really spray too much foam under there but uh, but this part here is excellent I sprayed well I sprayed the foam well and it did a good job so much much uh, uh, it does work still if you're gonna rinse the bike uh, with water before you actually wash it with a sponge or with a mitt you might as well rinse it with a foam cannon huh? I think that that's that's a good approach you'll get a much cleaner bike the foam cannon will take a lot of the dirt off and then you finish off the cleaning process using your abrasion method but that looks pretty good